Yo, what up here? I'm just here with Adam, motherfucking YouTuber and shit. Say something. Say something. <laughs> hey, anyway. what's going on, everyone? It's Adam the Movie Hunter, back again. We got Black Friday Part 2, the sequel. Uh, dos trips to Best Buy. Uh, honey Hole, 20% off on actual Black Friday itself. A um, couple of things came in the mail. Probably a couple of thrift stores. Uh, who knows? Uh, it's all together. It's going to be all just thrown in. All bunch. I, I got the hunt. Yes. Got the haul. Yes, yes. All today for you coming up right now. Without further ado, let's just get to it. Let's go. All right. Let's roll in round two at the Best Buy. Uh, Black Friday still going on. A couple of movies I still want for that 999 4K special. So see if I can go get them. Stay All right, I'm done with Best Buy. On to my usual goodwill. Oh, Spooky Buddies is here. All right, might be a winner. Might be a winner. I'm still wandering through. 
Uh, I did find this. Uh, I'm not going to take it home because I already have the complete series, but season one, Friday the 13th, the series. Yeah, fun show. Not about Jason at all. Uh, so very misleading, but definitely something interesting to find in the wild. And this one, uh, I've never heard of the Witches of Oz. Got a lot of big names. Lloyd, Hendrickson, Embry, Aston. And I'm not going to check it out today, but maybe in the future. Maybe. All right, let's go see what the Veterans Thrift's got. Haven't been here in a month. Sometimes you get lucky, but rare. So, good luck to me. Okay, here we go. Star Wars Robot Chicken. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take this home today, but it's definitely definitely interesting. Oh, a little VHS. A romantic comedy that, what, t touches your heart? Does something to your heart. Tim Curry's in it, though, so couldn't be that all, all that bad. Well, <laughs> one more stop at the lots. Haven't been here in a month either, so... See what I can get. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Black Friday, actual Black Friday. Um, stopping at the Honey Holes, 20% off. I gotta get something, right? You gotta find something. Uh, there is a toy I left before, or a statue, a movie, something, I know it. Uh, I'm gonna probably, I gotta pick up a video game that I picked, grabbed from my son last night on Thanksgiving. You know, happy Thanksgiving to all you lovely folks out there. Let's feed the meter. And, uh, after that, I don't know. Maybe I'll stop, see what other sales are going on. But I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going crazy. MVD already had a good sale. Vinegar had their sale last night. Severin had their sale last night. Uh, yeah, lots of sales. So pace yourself, boys and girls. Pace yourself. <laughs> All right, here we go.
Hey, all right, I'm done. Got my bag. 20% off at the Honey Hole. They had a whole bunch of new steel books, uh, you know, stuff like that. You can tell they got some distributors obviously got the Best Buy stuff, the, the whole bunch of Best Buy exclusives. There's a bunch of loose discs, stuff that was returned probably, obviously, I'm thinking. Um, you know, a couple of like light scratches, dents a little bit on them, but there's some out of print you know, still books. I'm like, eh. but I don't collect them. I don't flip them. So I don't need them. There's a couple of cool sealed ones though, uh, that I might've picked up maybe you'll have to see, but a bunch of great movies at a great rate. I love black Friday. I love physical media. Uh, I had to put some back after I kept looking. I was like, Oh, oh this is the one. Yes. There was one or two that I was, I was almost done. I purchased, almost purchased the other night online and I did it and they were they were here, so better, better deal. Anyways, um, that's it. So I'll show you more if I'm gonna go out a little bit more, see if there's anything else out there, but stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna look at the toys right now since the uh, movie line is completely packed with people. Uh, this is like the old school Best Buy Black Friday today. Shit is just everywhere in the aisles, you know, coffee pods and air fryers and microwaves and uh the movies are blocked off basically because the people in line the line like wraps around like that's crazy shit like what what year am i in i thought everybody's going online oh this is this is cool now would i want to stand in line for an hour for it probably not <laughs> especially since it's not on a black friday show but it's still fun to look at Turtles. So they packed up for uh, uh, Ronin, the last Ronin. Okay. But yeah, they packed up for uh, Christmas. Definitely. Okay. Uh, turtle. Legos. Video games are packed, so I'm going to go look around, see what else I can actually find a spot to actually even <laughs> stand. <laughs> uh, Ooh, Thundercats. Thunder, thunder, Thundercats. Dude. TVs are taller than me now. Fucking hey. I remember when they were like down here. Now they're like, <laughs> touch the roof. So if you guys need an 85 inch, you know, 95 inch. No, I'm just joking. They're 75 inches, but I feel like they're 20 feet tall. So. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. It's too busy. It's too busy. It's gift cards. Still got the movie rack, so. It's about all I've got left. Randomness filled in, but I'm not gonna wait for an hour for for stuff like Grand Turismo. An avatar. He's getting in line. She's getting in line. Not me. Let's get out of here. I've been at Target in months. See if they actually have movies still. <laughs> well, look at that. They actually have a little stand. Oh, crazy. I haven't been here in a while, but I'll take a peek. See if there's anything worthwhile at the old Target. What's the toys? Toys and toys. Well, my kind of toys, at least. Collectible toys, but... King Hardy. I don't know. Not much, though. Not much for me. Those are cool. Cause I don't have Guliana yet. Guliana? Toonie Terrors. I do like Gordon Shumway, a little elf stuff. But the line here is kind of big, so I don't know. It's, I don't know. They're not on sale. They're not like something special for Black Friday. Ultimate McCreenies. I do. I do want this one though. So, looks like they got plenty. Six, so maybe on a slower day this weekend or something. Uh, they may have buy two, get one free, but there's not literally two movies that I want to buy. <laughs> That's the problem. You know, even Fast X is $3 more than Best Buy's. Uh, so yeah, some 
Oppenheimer DVDs. Yeah, that movie's like the hard to find one right now. Uh, DVD, I guess not. Hill. Bunch of John Wicks. Although, if I was to get anything, this was intriguing for me. I haven't seen the Blu ray really much, just the DVD, so. But I don't know. I don't know. And we're back. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the hunt. It was fun going out for Black Friday this year. Has not been the same. Walmart, Target, Best Buy, they just kind of gave up on it. They just like, they do all the other shit. They got the air fryers and the, um, I don't know what else I see out there. Instapots and I don't know. Just randomness. They got a lot of like appliances and TVs as usual. Bigger, bigger, bigger TVs. Um, but the movie sections are gone. The little paper stand or cardboard stand things that are the aisles, gone. Walmart didn't have any. Uh, Target had just one little skinny one with shit movies. Uh, the, and the prices weren't even as good as Best Buy. And in Best Buy, I guess, was the best out of all of them. And even then I was just like, okay, you know, cause they put them all out early. So it was like early Black Friday, I blew my load real quick. And then I was like, done. You know, I didn't want to go back for any more. Uh, you know, I went back, but I was, I mean, I got three more. I was hoping there would be like a shit load of Blu-rays they just would put out. More 4Ks, different ones. I don't know, they did it. It was all the same stuff. So I just kind of had to settle with what I got. Uh, but I will say that Best Buy was going nuts today for Black Friday. People, the line was wrapped around like it was 2012. People had stuff in their hands, but not movies. The problem is in my Best Buy, the local one, the movies were where the line is. I couldn't really look at them again, but even what I was able to get or look at, the same ones that I saw the other time, time before. So I was like, I'm done. I, I walked out. The best spot, though, for, was my honey hole, my record store, reanimated records, coming through again. It was record sale day uh, out there, and their store was 20% off. Nothing for record sale day. So I let all the people that came for the records go in there, do their thing early. They opened early. I came a couple hours after because I knew they weren't shopping for movies. <laughs> and I uh, looked at all the steel books, looked at everything, came home with some fun stuff and a great uh price we'll call it like great deal deal of a deal so with that said i'm gonna keep talking about just what i uh, you saw all that the movies here we go arrow is putting out the again just brilliant work tremors part two aftershocks oh the limited edition hard case i already put it in it's beautiful it's brilliant looking if you were on the fence of picking up the blu-ray or 4k pick up the 4k it's just as good as part one tremors part two look at that so oh, i got it got it the color the green is just it's beautiful so uh definitely recommend that one now for the best buy these are the things i picked up at best buy okay creed three finally i'm gonna watch it uh I kind of looked for this with the 999. Anything that came with a Blu-ray and a 4K, it was pretty much the top of my list. And then if it was a great movie that I've heard or wanted to see, put it up there. And third, uh, just, you know, if I was feeling it and this, I was feeling it. Uh, one and two I've seen and I liked. So this was a must. Gotta come home. Apollo. You know, Creed 3. Creed 3. This, I was like, uh, my kids wanted to see it too, so pulled the trigger. Shazam, you know, part two, was this Fear of the Gods or Fury of the Gods? Yeah, Fury of the Gods. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. I kind of liked part one. Uh, this I saw with my kids in the movie theater. I didn't fall asleep. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not the biggest animated Spider-Man. I like, like real live action Spider-Man, I guess. Like... I don't know, Marvel, Spider-Man. Same thing, but not like, I don't know, it's hard to say. This is more of my kids stuff, but I liked it. I enjoyed it. My big one, my oldest wanted to watch it. Fit the other criteria, 4K Blu-ray, all, all that stuff. Lowest price I was going to probably find. 
Uh, and to be honest, this is the one that had the most copies still left when I was at the store today. They saw tons of Spider-Man, so they obviously kind of overproduced that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's still available next year for like five bucks. And then ugh, I couldn't. I was so happy. Uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, the complete series on Blu-ray, first time ever. Only thing would have made me more happy if it was DuckTales that came along with it, with a bonus Treasure of the Lost Lamp added in. But I'll take this. I'll take this all day. I love this series. I loved Chip and Dale growing up. They're the best. So to find the show on the blue, I'm hoping it's a bit. I have the, already the DVD set, the little slipcase you know, it's like white and brown. Or something. Anyways, if you have it, you have it. But I, I just wanted to upgrade that. One of my favorite series for cartoons. Now, this I was because I love Corey's. I love Feldman. Anything basically Haim or Feldman's in. The Rad Pack did a live stream a couple of days back, I want to say. Maybe it's been a week now. Um, and Justin from the Rad Pack mentioned this to Mel. He's like, oh, why don't you have this? You should. You're... Corey lover. Anyways, if you are a lover of the Corys, then you probably may have this already. Rock and Roll High School Forever and South Beach Academy. Uh, it, it's This is the Feldman's work. This is like 90 to, and then 95, so it's like PG-13 Feldman up to R-rated Feldman. Uh, I haven't watched this either one in forever, but when he talked about this, it like Bing, nostalgia like bell went off I'm like okay I gotta pick that back up I haven't watched that in 20 years 25 years 30 years I don't know it feels like that something like that gone in 60 seconds surprisingly I looked and I wanted to rewatch this like two months ago and I didn't have it so I've been kind of on the like look on the hunt I mean for it or like looking out for a good price found it at a good price and boom gone in 60 seconds I love Nicolas Cage in that movie, so. Uh, here we go. So this, these I left on, the final batch here is off from my 20% off day. Uh, movies that I, they started from like the $3 range because I'm like, okay, 20% off of that. It's like, what, two, 70 cents or something, 80 cents, 60 cents, some cheap. So I'm like, I can pay two bucks for this movie. And then I'm like, okay, if I get a $5 one, it's only like three something. And then I'm like, oh, $8. That's only like six bucks. Ten, uh, so I was like, oh, I kept progressing up the ladders, you'll see. So I put them in that order. Because once I got to the $20 range, I'm like, that's only $16 for a steal of a deal. So I was like, happy today with the Black Friday. I didn't go crazy, didn't go overboard, and I got some movies that I really wanted. So it's a win. But here we go. Uh, Run All Night. So I do not have this. Wanted to watch it. It's been there for a moment and uh, figured why not today was the day since it was on sale. So I'll put that right there. I haven't seen this movie and this is I think probably the one Tarantino movie that I haven't seen. Uh, look this one up. Now Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, if I'm not mistaken, is like $11.99 right now, Black Friday at Best Buy. And I looked at like, okay, for five and then I get 20% off of that. This is time to pick it up. Like an omen. <laughs> I heard great things about this. Awesome stuff. Uh, still sealed. 20% off eight. So what was this? Like six something? Six. So I couldn't pass that up. <laughs> uh, for this 4K of Ambulance. And then, okay, the Paul Twins. This is the one I did not have. I've been trying meaning to pick up i just haven't pulled the trigger like three times now on online sales and i was like this is about basically what i would have got for the sale prices when i would have you know did it back then so you know the 10 is like eight bucks double trouble i love uh crappy like ex wrestler movies <laughs> and so double trouble is right up the alley uh you know if you haven't watched these guys they're they're hilarious they're just big hair big muscles and bad acting. <laughs> the steel books today were they were great. Okay, so there was a lot of them. There's okay, if I'm like a movie flipper guy, you know, there's some that are selling for like 20 bucks that are worth like on the bay 70, you know, okay. 
uh, I noticed a lot of this stuff was, again, loose disc. Some of the stuff was a little scratched or a little dinged in parts. So for just a collector that's not like anal about that, it would have been, they're great prices, great prices. Uh, this one was sealed, uh, did not, looks good. I'm gonna cross my fingers, nothing secret under the plastic. I didn't have it. It was, again, the discount and it came with a 4K and a Blu-ray. So belly, so I couldn't resist. You know, this one's kind of gone. It's nothing crazy. You know, it's one of those like $35, $40 online. You can still get the 4K, you know, released, no problem. But the steel book, you know, sealed, I thought for 20% off of 15, great time to pick that up. This is the one I've been, I was so happy with because I almost bought it the other night. Uh, best of times. Actually, almost two times the other night. So to find it, and it was a better price now that I could find it with the in real life and sealed and it's not yes it's not for everyone kurt russell and robin williams not their like best work but i like their chemistry in it i'm a football movie guy you know ta i think it's like taft high tigers or something like that anyways it's just good wholesome fun you know 80s old doesn't have to be a raunchy comedy for me all the time so that would be a good example of what would make me laugh when it doesn't have boobies <laughs> and uh this is not even out yet uh thunderbolt and lightfoot clint eastwood the kino over 4k blu-ray for a discount 16 bucks you know because that's the 20 percent off i couldn't pass it up why not four bucks off that heck yeah 16 you know it's like 27 right now online at best buy and it comes out i think on the 28th Something like that. I think it's on the 28th is when it released date, but I got it early and cheaper, so I couldn't pass that up. And the last movie, uh, mainly because, I don't know, I just wanted to take a chance on another, like, Culture Shock, Terror Vision, you know, one of those weird Saturn, Saturn's core. They would put all these, like, weird SOV piece of piece of s <laughs> crap movies like that has been really hitting and missing but this one i do want to take a chance it has randall i think tex cobb any movie that he's been in that i've i've always enjoyed so i'm gonna take a chance artwork is beautiful as well uh raw nerve raw nerve 16 bucks why not? Kind of fits in line with like the Black Friday that's going on right now. Price range, so I figured this was the time to grab. So, Roddy. I do like this slip. You know, I really like the back artwork. It just pops. It's Randall right there. It's Tex Gub. You know, he's the biker from Raising Arizona. You guys don't know who that is. If you've seen that movie. If you haven't seen that movie, you should also see that movie as well. I do know the convicted cinephiles as a fan. Uh, so that's what we got. Those were the movies. I, I liked it. I like it. You like it? You like it? I liked it. So I'm going to finally get to watch some new stuff. Not like something that came out 30 years ago. Well, <laughs> let me rephrase that. The movies themselves probably came out 30 years ago, but something that was released on the actual format or physical disc more recent than a long time ago. Yes, let me explain. <laughs> but that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Long episode again, because that's how I do it. I'm like a full episode where you need your snacks, you need a potty break, commercial breaks, all of that. I'll try to get you another uh, swap meet one coming up. Like I said, cold weather. It's been raining. It actually rained today, but I was inside, so it didn't matter. So let's hope for dry skies. <laughs> dry skies will get me out. So like, I hope you like what you saw today. I thank you for coming by and just that's it. So later. <laughs>